Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a makeup look for you guys. A bit like a get ready with me because it's also got um, me doing my hair as well. Um, and I just thought to bring you guys along and possibly we could do our makeup at the same time because I'm pretty sure every girl does her makeup whilst watching another girl do her makeup. So yeah. Let's get ready to go. But as usual, before we get into the video, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. I upload as much as I can. Also, if you're watching this, you're subscribed or not, and you've not seen my social media, they are on screen right now as we speak. And they're also linked in the description below, so check them out. And also, my blog is now linked in the description because it is now updated. So go check that out. Um, I'm not going to give too much away, but I'm going to say like, it looks different, <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so to start off, I'm going in with the Revolution Pro Anti Redness Correcting Primer. Now I'm going to be using this on most of my face because my face just get really red and I'm especially going to be using it here and I will be using the Pro Base, the list actually off at the moment, the Pro Base um, Prime and Conceal, the green one. Um, the lid is a little bit broken, so it won't stay on. Um, as well on here, just because I had a spot, I picked it, and moral of the story is, don't pick your spots. Because this happens. Okay, we're going to ignore the green bit just because like it was really dark to cover. I've managed to go away with it, but hopefully the foundation helps. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation in the shade Ivory. And I don't put too much on because I used to put quite a bit on and it made me look a little bit orange. So I've done a th I've been doing a thing where I don't put too much on so it doesn't look harsh, if that makes sense. Then I go in with a beauty blender. I just, it's a bit dirty at the moment, but I just dampen it. And then I blend. So then once I've done that, I'm going in with my True Match um, concealer in the same shade, Ivory. And then once I've done that, I'm not going to set my foundation yet. I'm just going to do my eyebrows and then set my foundation because sometimes I have to just con conceal the like littlest thing around my eyebrows and then I'll set powder. Or if not, it will go orange and cakey. So when I do my eyebrows, the first thing I do is I brush my eyebrows and then the products I use is the Rimmel London Brow This Way um, Fire Pencil in the shade um, Brown. And then I also use the Rimmel London Wonderful Brow um, in the shade Medium. Um, and it literally has like a posture between a wonder and full because it literally is full, if that makes sense. Like full coverage in your eyebrows, which is so nice for me. Okay, so as usual, I'm going to be using the number seven palette mirror and one of my brows. So once I've lined my um, eyebrows, I then go in with the wonderful brow and I just go over my eyebrows. Okay, so now I've done my eyebrows, I'm going to go in with the stain matte, translucent, no, transparent even. Um, powder. I'm just gonna set my foundation, and then this new thing I've been doing recently is because my eyebrows are so like, not my eyebrows, my eyelashes are so. What's the word? Temperamental. I decided, and I've been doing it for a while, is I do first coat of mascara first, and then do a second coat last. Oh, 
oh I forgot to say that the mascara I'm using is the extension lash, lash lengthening mascara I said I hope that's so awkwardly but no, once I've done that I'm then just gonna go in with my eyes no I said that awkwardly because I'm actually debating doing eyeshadow hmm I might just do my go-to like I have been recently to be fair sounds like a good idea so what I'm going to be going in with is my um, bronzer and I'm just going to be like grabbing a fluffy brush because <laughs> that's what I call them and I'm going to grab it I'm going to do two pats and then I'm going to put it on my um, crease of my eye my lies, and then I'm just going to go in with the lightest shade on my number 7 palette put that on my brow bone and once I've done that I am going to bronze, blush and highlight And then to finish the look, I will go over with my Maybelline, the gloss, the gloss cell, I guess, uh, Go Extreme um, mascara. And then I'll go in with some lip balm because I'm not a big lipstick person. Okay, so my hair's a bit like, it's kind of natural but not natural, like there's a little bit of frizz, frizz and there's a little bit of kinks in it. Um, so I'm going to be straightening my hair today. Um, I am aware about my roots. They are quite wide. Um, I was booked in for next week, but due to my actual work schedule changing, and I'm actually starting work. The time I was meant to get my hair done, I'm having to rebook, and it might be in May. So yeah, we're gonna have to deal with these roots for a little while. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going in with the um, VO5 Heat Protect Spray. And I'm just gonna spray that through. section of hair using a scrunchie. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up also if you're new and you're at the end of the video and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys